This morning, we are remembering a true NFL legend. Dick Buckets is one of the greatest defensive players of all time, a larger-than-life figure who had a Hall of Fame career for his hometown Chicago Bears and then made his way to Hollywood. DeMarco Morgan is here with more on his life and legacy. And boy, what a legend he is. Yeah, what? story yes. career, Michael, there. And he was known as one of the best linebackers in football history. And the tributes are pouring in this morning, not just for his skills on the gridiron, but for his work off the field as well, along with his big heart. Overnight, the Chicago Bears grinding to a 40-20 victory over the Washington Commanders, the team crediting their rare win to the memory of one of the greatest to ever wear the orange and blue, Dick Buckus. It just means a lot, you know, tonight, getting a win, um, a first win in a long time, so uh, Bears legend, he'll never be forgotten, and, uh, you know, we play for him tonight, so this one's for him tonight. Before the game even started, a moment of silence for one of the legendary monsters of the midway. You know, I'm really not the tough macho guy that was only during the game. And uh, no matter how hard you try to explain that, it sure you were, you know. The former linebacker known for his gritty play and hard hits. I want to just let them know that they've been hit. And when they get up, they don't have to look to see who was uh, that hit them. It shouldn't be any puzzle. When they come to, they got to say, well, it must have been Butkus that got me. The Hall of Famer's career cut short in 1973 after a chronic knee injury, but his stardom was far from over. Okay, Ronnie, MacGyver and I got to go. Taking to Tinseltown with guest appearances throughout the 80s and 90s on shows like MacGyver and Murder, She Wrote. Uh, they don't call me Tay for nothing. Even landing recurring roles in sitcom classics, My Two Dads and Hang Time. Okay, everyone, hustle up. But his heart remained with the game. Bears chairman saying Dick was the ultimate bear. He was Chicago's son. Dick Butkus was 80 years old. And last night, many Bears fans wore the number 51 jersey at the game in honor of Butkus. And one of his fans describing him in a post on social media as a great man, a great human, and a great player. And he's survived by his wife, his high school sweetheart, by the way, and their three children. And we are thinking of all of them, DeMarco. Yes, thank you so much. What a legend. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.